Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm going to do a, a quick review, hopefully quick review, of these 12-ounce Tri-Deer boxing gloves. Now, I purchased these because my other gloves, these Everlast that I've had for a while, are a little worse for the wear, all right? And these are also 14-ounce. So anyway, let's go over these. I picked these up on Amazon for like $23 or $24. These are, I'm not affiliated with anybody on Amazon or anything like that. You will not find any links to buy these on this video. I just wanted to give a good review or a review that'll help someone else make some educated decisions. All right, so we'll take them out of the bag. I went with the blue color. Uh, I seem to order a lot of blue, I wear a lot of blue. I should probably fix that. But anyway, uh, out of the bag, they feel nice, all right? These are definitely smaller than the 14 ounce. They feel lighter. Uh, the foam padding in here, uh, I'm no expert, all right? So I don't know what kind of foam padding is in here, but it feels decent. All right, it feels, feels padded. All right, the thumb stitching, and this is the stitching on the glove. We'll get a little closer for this. Seems so far to be nice, okay? We've got this deer logo, which to me, you know, I'm a fish fan. Uh, it looks like an antelope to me, but either way, try deer, all right? I'm also a hunter, I don't know. But that that's what their logo is, try deer, all right? Uh, these stripes, ventilated, which is always nice. Uh, one thing I did notice comparing this to the Everlast is that the, the wrist cuff, this cuff here is slightly smaller. Uh, I just want to make sure that I take my hands and my wrist really well. I'll focus on that. Uh, the Velcro strap actually seems pretty good. I know on some of these lower price gloves, the Velcro is pretty cheap. Uh, this feels good, all right? Uh, like I said, nice foam padding. Uh, one thing I will say between the 12 and the 14 ounce, uh, if we can look at that, the striking surface is definitely bigger on the 14 ounce than on these, all right? Um, but anyway, like I said, I'm just using these on the heavy bag. I'm training in my gym. And I wanna work on striking and get my knuckles stronger and things like that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wrap my hands. I'm gonna hang up the heavy bag. I'm gonna go a few rounds and I'm gonna see how these feel. And when it's finished, uh, you know, I'll go back over it and see what I think. So let's get started. Okay, so let's do a recap here. Uh, like I like I did uh, three rounds, they're about four minutes to three and a half minutes, I think. Uh, so I did three rounds with these on. I'm gonna go over what I liked about these. I'm gonna go over, I can't say what I disliked, all right? There's nothing I didn't like about these gloves. Uh, but I'll go over some things that I might wanna, I wanna point out to people before you purchase. Uh, first off, 12 ounces made a big difference. I felt like I was moving faster, uh, things like that. But any 12 ounce glove would probably do that. When I was striking, before I started hitting the bag, I was wondering how this would feel because it was a lighter glove, but the padding is really decent. Um, my hands feel fine. I wrap the same as I always did. They feel better than with that pair of 14 ounce that I had that were pretty beat up. So that's a big difference. So overall, I feel like a big improvement. Uh, these feel pretty good. Um, they stayed on, the Velcro stayed tight. 
My hands did not slide in these gloves at all when I was striking the bag, when I was moving around. My hands got hot, but not real sweaty. Uh, the ventilation worked really well. So overall, I think these were nice. I really enjoyed using these. I'm looking forward to keeping these. One thing I wanna point out is that these were really hard to put on uh, when I wrapped my hands, all right? I think I have 180, 180 tape, 180 wraps. Um, so it was pretty hard. I got them on, I definitely used my teeth. Once I had this glove on, I had to pull it on with my teeth. But the second time I did it, it was a little easier. And I'm assuming that each time I do this, it will get easier. So overall, that would be the only, I wouldn't even call it a negative. I'm gonna give these a good review. I would say if you're a person like me, who's training in their basement gym, their garage gym, at home with the heavy bag, or if you go into a gym right now that has a heavy bag, um, these are great. If you're training for fights, like in the ring, if you're into MMA or boxing, I can't speak to these. Uh, that is not what I do. Like I said, I just train at home, try to stay in shape, try to stay sharp, in case I ever, you know, have to use my skills. If nothing else, really strengthening my heart through cardio, working on my strength through this. But if you're a fighter, I'd say look for some other reviews on these from fighters. Uh, but if you're just a regular person that's checking out Amazon or wherever else you can find these, I would recommend these. So I hope this video helped. Also on that note, be easy on me for that training video I put in here. I'm not a professional fighter. Like I said, man, I was just reviewing these gloves. So make sure you like and subscribe. And I hope everyone's 2021 is off to a good start. I'll see you guys later.